standing in Eaton Square. It's in the heart of West London, the real magnet for all the oligarchs of the world. This is where they want to live. After the Soviet Union collapsed, a small number of people made a huge amount of money and they wanted to put it somewhere. And London's got everything going for it. We've got great houses, great schools, great time zone, great language, great courts, and police agencies that don't ask too many questions about where money came from. Who wouldn't want to put their money here? Money doesn't come directly here, it normally goes through a number of different countries, but once it gets here, it's anonymous. It's owned via a shell company somewhere, the individual's name is taken off it. And once it's here, it can be spent on anything. You can take it to an auction house, buy art, take it to an estate agent, buy a mansion, you know, take it to a school, pay school fees, take it to the government, buy a visa. Oligarchs don't stop being oligarchs just because they've left Russia and come to Britain. They want the same things they have at home. They want access to politicians. They want preferential treatment under the law. They want journalists muzzled. They want everything to be on their terms and that is not how democracy works you know, by selling them property here by selling them access to our system we are essentially selling a little bit of ourselves and eventually if we keep selling it we won't have anything left if you're rich you're used to getting what you want when you pay for it and if you're giving six-figure sums to politicians you're not doing that out of the kindness of your heart. You're doing that because you want something in return. We don't know what they want in return. We don't know what the deals are being cooked up behind closed doors. And we really need to know that. We need proper limits on who can give money to political parties. There need to be fit, fit and proper people. And we need transparency about whatever deals are being done in return. It, it's a disgrace we don't have that. <laughs>